Hey, what's up guys? It's Phil Trigger here, and welcome to the part two of the Clam Breakdown Angel Feathers. This is going to be a pretty lengthy video because I'm going to go over every single card option they have available right now because of set six. Uh, there's going to be more cards coming out set uh, seven, I believe, and uh, I'll cover those when the time comes, and uh, yeah, so I'll basically do a revision of this video and all that jazz. But for now, let's talk about what we have right now with our current Angel Feathers. For now, let's look at the starters. Right now, we have two starters, which are, well, technically three, but we'll go over the third in another video. Right now, we have Miracle Feather Nurse. She's part of Ride Chain, which is the most popular right now. It's called the Agordial Ride Chain. Uh, you know, it, in my opinion, it's not too solid. Um, Miracle Feather Nurse is part of a bad Ride Chain, in my opinion, because unlike the set four Ride Chains, which tutor the grade two and the grade three to you, this one's more of a gamble. When you ride the grade one over her, which is Heavenly Injector, uh, you basically check the top car seven cards of your uh, deck, and if you have a grade two or grade three among them, that's part of that same ride chain, you add it to your hand. The reason I don't like this one, and the reason because it's inconsistent in my opinion, is because it's mostly a gamble. Uh, yes, seven cards is a large number, but you have to remember, the deck is still about 50 cards uh, when you build it, and it's about 40 cards after that, uh, you know, that's seven check. Um, it's it's too much of a gamble in my opinion. You there's been so many times where I've tested this, I've gone through 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 it, and I've never gotten a grade two or three. Out of about ten matches, I only got that this ride chain, this first part of it. Uh, let's say three out of ten times, it's not too consistent. If it was more of a uh, set four ride chain, which is where if you ride this one, you can grab the grade two, and then if you call this one to your rear guard, you can grab the grade three, it would be much, much better. But sadly enough, they gave us a very inconsistent one. Uh, other decks that go by this are the uh, Riviera, Riviera chain and uh, the Spectral Duke Dragon chain, which you will see in July. But overall, this isn't one of the best options in my opinion. If I were you, I would yeah, skip the the, uh, the chain completely. And uh, uh, let me just go ahead and cover that right now. Uh, so that. since we already know what Miracle Feather Nurse is, let's go to the next card. Heavenly Injector. Uh, basically, Heavenly Injector, when you have Miracle Feather Nurse under her, she's an AK at uh, Vanguard. Not too bad. It helps you be a little bit more defensive. Uh, and, then when, uh, and then when you ride Fate Healer Ergodio over Heavenly Injector, you do the, you do the following. Uh, you pick one card from your damage and one card from your hand, and you swap them. So it's a mini no CL for those of you who are familiar with it. It's okay, but it's too early of a game to go ahead and swap because think of it: you run into your grade one, uh, pass turn, your opponent attacks, they hit you. You know that could be like a grade three or something else that you don't need. And then next turn you ride a Godio, and it is an option, but it's still not too worth it to use it. And then let's go over Fate Healer or Godio. When you have Heavenly Injector in your soul. She gains 1,000, so she's a 10. Yeah, she's a 10 uh, Vanguard. Not bad. Also, another good defensive defensive option. And uh, basically, when you ride Cosmic Healer, which is the final part of the chain, over her, it's the same as the Heavenly Injector part, but instead of one, you do two swaps. Uh, it's very good if you have a good setup in the uh, in the damage already. But even then, it's too early of a game to really. Plant your, uh, plant your damage how you want it. Yeah. Unless you're taking a ton of damage from your opponent, which is very unlikely, because good experienced players will know that Angel Feathers thrive on damage, and they'll probably be more conservative, knocking out your rear guards and such. So, it's okay in my opinion. I would rate this card a 6, but it's not that good. And then finally, we have Cosmo Healer, Cosmo Healer Ergodio. Now, the, thing, the issue I have against her is this entire ride chain is very good on paper. When you look at it, you're like, oh wow, this is very good. But when it comes to practicality in the gameplay, you have to think about it. Uh, for example, when you ride her, you get two swaps. Yes. Um, but those swaps might not be the best ones. In some situations, they can be godly. You can grab like two 10k shields and such. But uh, most of the time, you won't get what you need. Also, the, the thing about Ergodio is her, uh, her skill is basically when you have Fate Healer Ergodio, so the second part of your chain, in your soul, she gets 1,000, so she's an 11k Vanguard. Very good defensive option. Uh, everybody knows that 11k Vanguards are some of the best right now because of the great des defensiveness that they, uh, you know, they provide. Um, then we have Counterblast 2, which is her normal skill. Choose a card, uh, basically Persona Blast. You Counterblast 2, and you pick a copy of her from your hand, and when this attack hits a Vanguard, you ditch the copy and you heal one damage. So essentially, you counterblast two damage, you ditch the copy, and then you heal that damage that you flipped over. So, uh, in layman's terms, the skill is basically a counterblast one, ditch one. 
not very bad. Pretty pretty economic when it comes to Persona Blasters because they're usually very very you know very standard. Uh, Counter Blast two and then the ditch, but this one's Counter Blast one. Now the thing I have about Ergodio is like I said, she's good on paper. When you use her, you use her in a, uh, in a game, you'll find out why she's not too not too practical. Simply because you can get her off early, and you can start her healing early, but the opponent can simply out aggro you. Uh, you know, addition that grade three isn't really going to do much except for get rid of a hitter. And uh, you know, as we all know, grade threes in hand are pretty terrible. You can use them for um, you know things like no guards, etc. Uh, but <laughs> Ergodio just doesn't cut it in my opinion because you have to use your effect late game. And the thing about her is that it has to hit a vanguard. Now, the thing about hitting a vanguard is late game, the opponent is not going to let you hit it. The opponent will you hit the rear guards all day long, but the vanguard is off limits. So, getting this effect off, you know, early game when your opponent, I mean, late game when your opponent's at like 4 damage, it's very tough. If your opponent's healing a lot, it can help you out, but in most cases, the opponent will be at 4 to 5 damage, and it'll be very tough to get that hit in so you can heal and keep yourself alive. The deck is a good concept, but it just doesn't have the tools it needs to make it effective. For example, the deck would need more heal triggers, uh, it would need more defensive options, it would need a better way to grab those grade threes. Uh, like I said, when this deck first came out, I've been toying around with it. I tried using the Thermometer Angel to grab more Ergodios and skip the right chain completely. Uh, I tried the right chain, it's just, it doesn't work. Um, you know, there's so many people that are like, oh, it worked, you can use carry all. The thing about it is, when I tested this deck, I ran Kyrio along with it, and the problem is Kyrio, they're both designated Vanguard Grade 3s, which is a huge issue, but, uh, you know, most of the games I end up winning because of Kyrio, so instead I switched over to the Kyrio build, which is way more consistent and does what Angel players need to do. The Agordio chain is really focused on keeping yourself alive and being defensive, but you'll find that being defensive isn't going to win it for you, you'll end up losing more, more times than, than none. Uh, so let's go over more cards. Um, then we have our second starter, Thermometer Angel. If the camera will focus. Da, da, da. There we go. There we go. Okay. Thermometer Angel. This is a generic copy. It's basically when you ride on the top of it, you call it to a rear guard. Uh, then you can counter blast one, uh, put it into soul, check the top five cards. If you find a grade three, you put it into your hand, you show it to the, you show it to the opponent. Uh, it's it's okay. It's a par in my opinion. I have to run it because if not, I have a minus one. For example, if you use the heal trigger to start off with, you end up you'll end up mining. You know, you'll end up giving yourself a minus one in terms of card advantage because you give up a card from the field. Uh, in terms of thermometer angel, she'll give you a plus one, which means she'll go to the rear guard. But you know she can give you that great three in hand that you'll need. She's also fabulous in this deck because the, uh, the extra grade threes in this deck will most likely be fodder, so you can use them for swaps, so she always feels those. Then we have uh, Lance Shooter, basically a Iron Tail Dragon copy. Uh, very simple effect, you can counter blast one and it gets 1000. Uh, you can stack the effect to be a 9k, a 10k, etc, but I don't know, it's your personal opinion. I don't like running her because she's a 7k. Uh, a lot of people don't want run. Ugh. A lot of people want to run her over Beth Note, which is the generic AK, just because she's a girl. <laughs> there are those people who are like, "No, run a one, a full girl deck," and, and that's fine. Uh, but you know, it's it's more mostly a matter of uh, personal opinions on this card. Then we have.